Hello there, it's Sandy Allnock, and this is a page that's actually in my book, Bible Journaling Made Simple, and it's done in watercolor, which doesn't bleed, and I had an idea to try something else with this. I've had the question asked, do I use blending solution in my Bible? I generally haven't, but I wanted to try it on Bible paper, which is in the workbook, and see what happens. And I thought I could also show you how to color a rock-faced type of mountain like this. I'm using it in the workbook along with the verse that's beside it, but you can also use it for a lot of different things, a lot of different mountain type of imagery uh, that you can use in your own Bible journaling. And there's a drawing in the, the book itself so that you're just coloring this in, but you can easily draw lumpy mountains and all I'm doing is taking a medium kind of brownish color and making some vertical lines with it and leaving the highlights next to the line itself. So it looks like I have a really nice light shining on it. I can go over that then with a darker brown and just make less of that brown so that some of the brown underneath shows through and it starts looking like craggy mountains. Notice what happens when I put the dark color next to the highlight on the central mountain because I can build up layers so that I have one mountain in front of another mountain in front of another, that sort of thing. And I'm just gonna continue working my way down the whole mountain toward these trees. You can hardly see it here on camera, but there's a tree line that's drawn in there. And you can of course ignore the tree line, just do it in a dark enough color that you can't see the tree line underneath, um, but it's there in case you want to follow along with that. But that's the reason why I have sort of that zigzaggy at the bottom of the rock face so that it kind of turns into the trees. I'm using a secondary green so it transitions from one green down to another green down below it, and then I'll at least get a little differentiation in color. Doesn't matter what greens just have fun with them and see what happens. But the thing that I wanted to test, of course, is blending solutions. So I'm gonna get the whole thing colored in first and then do that. I'm using polychromos pencils for this, but you can use all different kinds of colored pencils. These are not watercolor pencils, just regular colored pencils. And if you use ones that are like dollar store pencils, you won't get this much pigment out of them. If you use an artist grade pencil, you'll get a lot more pigment going. But you can certainly use dollar store pencils if you're, you can't afford a set of Prismacolor or Polychromos or something, then by all means use what you got. But just know that you won't get a ton of color. I'm trying to create some soft clouds by coloring around the clouds. Basically that's what you're doing. You're coloring the negative space around the clouds so that the clouds start to look white by comparison. And I'm trying to make sure that I get some of that blue right next to the mountains so that it also enhances the highlight that's on them because there's a color next to them. And now I've got some uh, baby oil that I have in a little, a little jar. It has cotton ball in it just so that I don't spill it on anything. And I keep it in that little jar because then I can take another cotton ball and spread the pencil using the baby wipe. I do this in my art and my crafting and that sort of thing a lot, and it blends it nicely. You can also use Gamsol. However, I did discover some issues on Bible paper, which is that it stains, it, it gets like a grease mark because it's greasy. The same thing happened when I, I tried and switched to Gamsol, and that did it as well. So there you go but I'll show you on the back as soon as I get the whole thing blended because I decided to just go ahead and blend it all anyway because this is just in a workbook. I'm not worried about the other side. And if it does, if you're, you're doing one in the workbook and if it does bleed through, then you can always just gesso the back and do something else on the other side. Use it as a tip in in your Bible and that sort of thing. But it blends the color really nicely as you can see. Uh, the blending solutions are really nice. But the thing I wanted to show you is on the back side is that where there's heavy pencil, there was a lot less of the grease spots. If you were to really cover solid, 
you probably could get away with little or no grease spots. I did try ironing to see if the iron would evaporate the oil or anything. And even after a couple days, it was still oil stained on the back. So that's a thing I won't be using in my Bible because I don't tend to use pencil heavily enough to do that. But I might use it on a tip-in when I could do something crazy on the back side to recover from that. Or you can also, you know, do something on this paper and then frame it or make another craft project out of it or that sort of thing. So yeah, it's looking kind of gross on the back, but there you have it. You could always just draw another mountain on the other side, just the same drawing in reverse, I suppose. That would be a way to cover it. So um, I've decided to proceed with this page anyway, because I was liking how it looked on the front. So what the heck? And I took my black pencil and did an outline around it. The reason that I do the outline around it, which I mentioned in my videos a lot, I know, but it allows me to change the outline. So if I've screwed up and my mountain doesn't look like it did in the original sketch that I did, or if I didn't like the lines that were already there, I can change them at this point because that black outline is going to stand out so much. So I added some text in white pen and then did some journaling in black pen just over there in the sky to finish off my page. And I'm glad I did the one in my Bible in watercolor and didn't use any blending solution on it so that I could, yeah, enjoy that one. Anyway, I hope you learned something from this. I will see you again next week with another video. As always, take care. Bye-bye.